Alright, so it's time for us to continue on with our FNAF Foxy guy. So here we go, we're going to right click and go to face mode. And you know what, let's just combine all the verts together and you two, you don't get to be excluded. I don't think so, right click face mode, grab and all of you. You get deleted, we get to F8 you and we go to shift right click and mirror mode. And we get to mirror you over to what axis? Negative X axis. So world, blah, 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 bounding box. Yep, fine. All is good. That's not necessarily good. Let's go back to mirror mode and check out how it combines things. Do not merge. We do want to merge. We want to merge the verts. There we go. Coming on back around. And there we go. Now we have the internal chest uh, mechanism or whatever you want to call it, elements. But this now piece doesn't make any sense because the ribs extend beyond it. So let's fix that. Right click verts, come back over here and just start messing with them. Pull out and you can pull out too. Hmm, okay, so Foxy needs a tail, a big old bushy tail, right? So it's gonna come out which means these have to be rotated outwards to match that tail. So let's do that. Let's do rotations. There we go. Come on. There we go. So we need a tail that goes out and uh, I don't know. What what kind of tail do we want? Jen. What kind of tail do we want for a fox? Long, uh, long, fluffy, and pointy at the end. Kind of like tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, shifty, out, bring it out, bring it over, rotate it, and scale it a little bit, bring it up, and we're going to give it a little tail, not a big tail. Let's bring a cube up here and make this tail. Shift, right click. Ah, screw it. Right click, face, grab this, delete it. Grab these, grab them over, move them on over to the center point, and do our thing. Somewhere up there, up the butt. Somewhere there. You know what? I can actually make this better, can I? So let's grab all of these right now. Not you. You don't you don't count. And put the transform there and group them. And WDV these guys here and scale them together as a transform. And then we get a bigger tail. There we go. Much better. Okay, now let's uh, deal with the rest of this stuff. So you are going to go to the end, and we are going to F8 you a couple times, right click shift and insert edge loop, and let's just do it, I don't know, four or five times, something like that. Right click edge, blah, you'd go down there. Let's go to side mode, frame up, and see what happens. So you go there. You go there. And we gotta rotate this stuff, don't we? Okay, so rotate. You need to be rotated somewhere like that. You need to be rotated somewhere like this, maybe. And you need more rotation than you have respect for. There you go. There we are. And come on. There we go. Okay. Remember, this is just a rough-in for the tail. This is not what the tail is going to actually look like at the end of the day. This is just me getting something down. Because really, a fox's tail probably poofs out at the ends, right? Oh, that's perfect. That's actually exactly what I wanted. Okay. And we'll make that pop out a little bit or something. Okay. Anyway, that's the start of the tail. Don't like it? We'll go with it. 
Foxy should also be taller and longer. So, um, given that information, if we go to object mode and grab everything from here on up and move it. Oh, we got to grab the tail too, don't we now? Let's grab all of you and bring you taller. I missed some verts. There we go. You're not coming. You are though. That's probably more about Foxy's height. Okay, save and let's grab you and move you here and move you and center you. Modify center pivot and modify center pivot. Hello everyone, it sounds weird for me to begin talking to you from the uh, end of a video, but uh, my recording stuff ended up failing miserably and I wanted to, instead of putting out a very short six minute video, I wanted to show you what I ended up doing uh, between the end of that video and now, uh, given that everything pretty much failed. So I ended up parenting, uh, or not parenting, combining all the hand or finger elements together. And then of course I started parenting them to the, their uh, separate elements so that we can do things like this. So here's this arm going down like this. I also created uh, a second rotation area so I made a ring that's attached to the arm um, this shaft that is and this part is parented to the shaft so that when the shaft moves the arm the forearm will move as well but more importantly I can grab this now and it does have a separate independent rotational element that lets me uh, give my foxy the ability to claw like this and of course I then went up let's hide the armor at the moment or whatever you want to call it. I then started combining the different elements together. You can see that that's a separate element and this itself is of course combined to this element here and that then gives me the ability to rotate my character in this way so long as I'm in object space. And then finally the last thing I did was I slightly modified the shoulder piece, raised it up, and then I created a ball and socket joint. The ball and socket joint was very easily created simply by creating a sphere and cutting it out. Yes, I've got these two little nubs here, but for some reason in my mind, I just, I wanted to not make it a perfectly um, a flat cut across there. So I might tweak that in the future, but I did parent the shoulder joint or the, the uh, shoulder armor piece to that shoulder ball socket, which now lets me do things like this with my character, which looks horrible, but you kind of get the idea that now I can actually begin to play with, tweak, and ultimately make uh, Foxy look like he's scary and menacing and probably going to try to attack you at some point later on in the FNAF game. So, you know, he's like, hey, come on over. Don't look at this camera. I'll, I'll come and I'll kill, I'll kill you. Um, nothing else really new. I did some slight modifications to the chest area in the chest piece. Um, didn't change the tail at all from the prior video. But anyway, just wanted to keep you updated on what was actually happening with this uh, since all of my capturing software failed and crashed just about everything I had. Luckily, I was able to save my model. Let's go to display, show, and all really quick so you can get a, a better sense of what's really going on when I do these rotational elements you can see how they rotate together and we'll of course come in here and put constraints on the um, the rotational values but we'll cover all that in a future video right now we're still modeling and still making foxy a menacing character and uh, i hope to catch you all in the next video thank you all for watching if you liked it like it if you don't like it also let me know why and uh, as always subscribe if you want me to keep making content like this it keeps me engaged and encouraged to um, continue with my projects have a great morning noon uh, or afternoon or night or whatever it is you got